Well, hello and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm Jonathan Asley of jonathanasley.com, and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Our topic, why can't men love like women? Real quickly before I get started, if you're interested in some of my content, check out the links below, uh, my book, my free gift, even if you'd like to talk to me on the phone, check out the links below. Okay, and don't forget to comment if this uh, video is something you'd like to share some of your thoughts on, okay? So our topic, why can't men love like women? So, and, and we want to explore this from two facets um, or a couple different facets. So just let me ramble here for a moment, give me a chance, okay? So one of the differences between men and women that I've noticed, and again, this is just my perspective on this, is women are more fascinated with the why. Why do men do this? Why do men do that? Um, and women tend to be more relationally oriented. In other words, they're the ones buying the books out there centered around relationships. And they're probably buying these books by a ratio of four to one compared to men. And it could be more like 10 to one. I mean, I'm just speculating here. But, you know, women buy books like um, <laughs> The 101 Lies Men Tell. Women buy books like uh, The Real Reasons Why Men Commit. Women buy books like eat, pray, love. Okay. So, uh, and, and women tend to be more romanticized about the idea of love, whereas men are more focused on how to meet women. One of their greatest challenges is centered around meeting women. One of my friends, Trip Kramer, wrote a book called Magnetic, and it says, cultivate confidence, become rejection proof, and naturally attract the women you desire. Men are more interested in how to meet women and how to have the confidence in women. Now, most, now, this isn't true for all men, but this is just a subsegment of men. So women are more fascinated and more inclined to understand the mechanics of how a successful relationship works. And men are just simply, how do I meet women? <laughs> and this is one of the reasons why I share with a lot of my clients is that when you, your desire is to have men lead the relationship process, you're giving the job to the wrong person because they don't study how to be in a successful, loving relationship. They just want to know how to meet you. Now, men are predominantly driven to be provider protectors. It's a very transactional way to be in a relationship. If I provide and protect, you'll give me sex and nurturing. That's kind of the transactional trade-off. But we now live in a space where we can actually go deeper and so I want to actually shift the conversation. I've given you kind of the differences between men and women and the way they approach it. But I want to look at this from a place of self-love, self-love. In fact, here, let me just share with you my T-shirt, the self-love club, <laughs> because self-love says I don't need another person in my life for me to be happy. In other words, my happiness isn't centered around being with another person. And oftentimes, and this isn't always the case, especially for women, they tend to be a little bit more codependent from the perspective as I need a man for me to feel good about myself. Um, and that's kind of one of the differences between men and women because men don't necessarily operate from that emotional space. They might from a physical space. They want companionship, they want attention, they want sex. So men are more tactile in the way they love and women are a lot more emotional. But the reason why I shift the conversation to self-love is because particularly for you ladies, um, because that's who my coach, I'm coaching, you know, my coaching practice is helping women discern who is the right guy for them. In fact, let me just shift for a quick second because in my coaching, I oftentimes see women spending all their energy in the wrong place when it comes to understanding men, and I'm about shifting it to being more discerning. How can you vet for the right guy? And one of the best things you can do for yourself to vet for the right guy is become the right person within yourself by loving on yourself. In fact, where's my book? I wrote a book called What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? There's a picture of me with my book, um, which is a journey of personal development, self-help, and spiritual work. So when you become sovereign within yourself, you actually become a magnetic attractor for a man in your life. 
And I want to say men need to focus on self-love as well. Men tend to be more focused in self-love in the area of how do I build my career? How do I make money? Um, how do I build confidence? But not from a perspective of relationship, but more in the perspective of being that provider protector. At least that's where it begins. Now, men that have gone to a deeper level actually start buying the books related to uh, being in a healthy, happy relationship. Books like uh, Getting the Love You Want by Harvell Hendricks. Um, books like Attached by Amir Levine. When a man begins to do a self-exploration journey within himself with respects to relationship, then he'll start purchasing these books. But he has to go through this evolution. He has to go through this tunnel, if you will. My friend Alison Armstrong talks about the tunnel men go through. And so men go through a different tunnel than women. But ultimately, the goal within the tunnel is self-love, is self-love. In other words, loving on yourself, feeling so happy that I don't need a relationship in my life to be happy, but being partnered with someone actually brings me much joy and much happiness. This is a conversation we can go into so many different directions. I'm giving you just some baseline things to think about here to shift your consciousness, to shift your perspective. But just understand that men tend to be a little more transactional from the physical perspective of love and women tend to be more emotional. So here's my invitation. Invest in your own self-love so you can feel that sovereignty within yourself. In other words, you don't need a man to feel good about yourself. And then recognize that you are the leader when it comes to the emotional aspect of the relationship. You can introduce these types of books to a man to build a healthy, happy relationship. In fact, I highly recommend introducing, if you're beginning a relationship with a man, Read the book, Eight Dates. Read it together. This is a fantastic book. Um, if that man wants his penis in your vagina and wants it on a regular basis, then build a relationship based on the foundation of what John Gottman talks about in the book, Eight Dates. That's just my suggestion for you. Take it for what it's worth. This is the world according to Jonathan. <laughs> but I'd like to think there's some value in what I share. Okay, I'd like to hear your thoughts. If this resonates with you, post a comment below. If you have something to say, I want to hear about it, post a comment below, like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and if you'd like to get a personal touch, you'd like to have a little personal touch, click the link below about scheduling a call with me to see if coaching would work for you. Okay, I'm going to sign off this video, as I always do, giving you a big, gigantic Jonathan Bear hug if I have your consent. Ah, uh, thank you. Mm. Wishing you a wonderful day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye now.